beautiful day for a walk. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? Where am I? That's right, I was walking. Oh, my head. Oh, I feel so dizzy, it's hard to walk. Oh, what's that sound? It's like piercing loud. Ouch, oh, too bright, too bright. Oh, ow. What did you notice after the person tripped? Were the sounds and lights overwhelming? How did their eyes or vision change? Did they seem more wobbly or unbalanced? Let's learn a little more about what a concussion is and what to look out for. A concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury or TBI. It's caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head or by a hit to the body affecting normal brain function. Fast back and forth movement can cause the brain to bounce around or twist within the skull creating chemical or physical changes in the brain, sometimes stretching or damaging the brain cells. Your brain is responsible for everything you do. It's not just your head. It's how you move, see, hear, and engage with your environment. Concussions can happen at any age and are not only involved in contact sports. They are the most common form of traumatic brain injury, often caused by falls, motor vehicle, pedestrian collisions, recreation, violence, and more. Although most with a concussion feel better within a couple of weeks, some will have symptoms for months or even longer. Getting plenty of rest and then scaling back regular activities or trying light exercises without symptoms is an important part of treating concussions. People continuing regular activities or gameplay after a concussion have a greater chance of getting another one. A repeat concussion that occurs while the brain is still healing can be very serious, potentially affecting a person for their lifetime or even be fatal. Protect your head from severe injury by wearing a seat belt or helmet, practicing pedestrian safety, and preventing falls around the home and workplace. If you hit your head and experience any of the following symptoms, seek medical advice. Some things that you might notice, you might appear dazed, stunned, or confused about events, answer questions slowly, or ask questions repeatedly. You might not be able to recall events prior to or after the hit, you might lose consciousness even briefly, though some may not at all. You might show different signs of behaviors or personalities or are seemingly forgetful about an instruction, assignment, or task. You might experience a headache or pressure within the head, nausea or vomiting, balance problems, or even dizziness. 
You might have your vision distorted, either blurry or doubled, or a swimming effect, sensitivity to light, motion or noise, or just feeling sluggish, hazy or foggy. You might have difficulty concentrating, paying attention or remembering things, or just feel not right, feeling down in some way. Know that every person's experience is different and maybe have a different number of them or severity of symptoms. Symptoms can take 24 to 72 hours before they show up. Talk with your healthcare provider if concussion symptoms do not go away or if they get worse after returning to regular activities. Awareness about concussion does not mean living in fear or not doing the activities that you enjoy. It's about being safe, being prepared, knowing when to seek help, when to rest, and managing long-term symptoms. If concussion symptoms do not feel manageable within one to two months, you may be experiencing post-concussion syndrome or PCS. Managing long-term concussion symptoms can be challenging, but know that you are not alone and help is available. For more information, you can visit the CDC and Concussion Legacy Foundation websites. This has been brought to you by the Brain Injury Association of North Carolina.